quick video. It will be quick. I've got some leftover cottage cheese. Um, and I was kind of thinking, uh, with lots of things like um, yogurt and, whey, uh, and, and curds, you can drain the excess whey out of them. Uh, and creme fraiche as well. Um, you can drain the excess whey out of them by putting them in a, a muslin cloth. And I just kind of thought, well, this is thick already and we could just puree it up uh, with, a, with a blender to make like a cream cheese, um, but it'd still be a little bit wet. So let's see how much liquid we can get out of it. So it's just a simple case of putting it through a cloth and then see how thick we can get it. Just out of, just kind of out of interest. I'm always curious about, we'll use that container. I'm always curious about cutting the cost down on things. So can we take something that's cheaper and turn it into something else that we can kind of quite use. So could we use this um, cottage cheese in to make a yogurt? I mean, it's pretty, essentially all it is, is curds and whey, I think. I shouldn't really have a go at making it sometime. But we'll just put it back in that container. Just, the cloth is clean, it's just stained. It's because I'm always forever draining things through the cloth. So we'll just put that into a little bowl. Oh, well, put it in the fridge, clean the board, and then we'll leave it overnight and see what happens and see how much whey comes out of it and what kind of um, product we're kind of left with. Because we could make a cheesecake out of it. We could turn it into like a cream cheese kind of spread. Um, there's, th there's other things we can do with it. Um, and I always kind of think if we can, if we can take something like that, maybe cottage cheese is pretty cheap compared to something like ricotta, um, but maybe we could use a cottage cheese as a substitute, or maybe we could make his own cream cheese, uh, and, and it'd be cheaper than actually buying cream cheese. You know, so all these things are, are possibilities, but just having a little bit of a play around is a good idea. Right, let's have a look at this cottage cheese. So, we've had some whey come out of it, not a lot. Probably should have mixed it all together, pureed it. And then we've got to get, uh, certainly probably more whey coming out that way. Well, let's just have a look at it. Let's get that out of the way. Let's see if it's firmed up. Oh, it's firmed up. It's certainly firmed up, hasn't it? Look at that. That's firmed up loads of that. How's it taste? Hmm. That would turn into cream cheese, wouldn't it? So we could puree it and put it, pull it through the cloth and then we could certainly use it in things like cheesecakes or semifredos we could use it as a ricotta substitute there we go that's what we're getting at so that's a success let's just out of curiosity out of curiosity let's see what happens when we it's got a nice texture to that. That's kind of quite interesting, isn't it? I wonder if we could. Right, let Cornell. Not really. Not really. It's a while since I've done Cornells. You're supposed to do it inside the container these days, aren't you? No, it wouldn't have, it would have quenelle batter if it was if it was pure red. But let's just get the blowtorch on it and see what happens. Out of curiosity, but it's almost like a cream cheese texture. I suppose that's what cream cheese is. So let's get the blowtorch on it. Will it just melt or will it want to gratinate? A little bit, a little bit. But it's not melting like a cheese as in the same kind of way, is it? Let's 
not wanting to caramelise in that same way. That's what it tastes like. No, oh, it's got a little bit gooey. It's got a little bit gooey. Hmm. That's kind of quite interesting. It's a bit like, like if you were to make a, a white sauce and put that on the, and caramelize the white sauce on top of a, a, a like a pasta bake, like a bechamel. So it's kind of got that creaminess, and then the cooked bit. Mm. I'm also not making much sense. This is me just laughing around, isn't it? Hmm, okay. So, we've answered a few questions. We can use it for different things. It's not just something that people used to eat on a fatty diet. But there we go. Interesting. All the same.